Hello and welcome back to Snowman on our hard mode adventure here in Alaska. We are picking up where we left off. And we are going to clear the uh, rock obstacle. That's what we're up to today. And then we are looking to repair, build a bridge down towards the port. We may then do another little challenge or task here in um, Northport. Uh, the original plan was to jump to Mountain River, grab our caterpillar, then head into White Valley and rescue our rolled lodestar because I was getting a little bit, a little bit overly confident on a shortcut to the river, and um, we, we had a little roll. But the the caterpillar will be. All the all the the load star in the roll will be no match for the caterpillar, I should say. That is an absolute monster, and I'm, I think I'm going to want the caterpillar in in um, White Valley anyway, because there is a very long horn to rescue and pull along. And I think, to be honest, after that, I never really used the caterpillar, but it can have a fuel tank on the back and it um, can take logs. Now I think it's only short logs. I'll have to double check that. So once we've sorted out and, and got the Dairy Longhorn we can... oh we got um, 1700 for that. Yeah once we've got the Dairy Longhorn we'll stick it in the garage and we'll have a look at it. If it will help us with um, logging jobs here we may well use it. Or we might just go around. Uh, we might stick the fuel tank on the back of it and use it as a like a, a fuel tank and a rescue vehicle. Because there is a lot of fuel laying around, and some yeah, we can go scoop it up. So that is our first rock obstacle out of the way. Although parked up at the fuel station, we did not grab any gas. We are going to fill up off this trailer here. Yeah, plans often change with me with this uh, Snow Runner series. So although I say we're going to do this, this and this next time, often we get here and yeah, I get distracted, I have an accident or I'm just... I just end up really enjoying what I'm doing and we st and we stay somewhere longer than I say we would. So quick refuel on the go. I don't think we even painted the royal, have we? I think it, it, the blue and white, that was its standard colours, weren't it? I believe. If you're in our Discord, and you should come and join the Discord, links down below, um, I do share screenshots from my other saves. So if, if you see a lot of blue and yellow vehicles, or yellow and blue vehicles, that's from my console. And um, the... The vehicles on my other save, my other PC save, I think they're all... What, I can't forget what color they are. I haven't been on that one for a while. Being back on this series I'm recording here means I don't tend to jump back to my other one. So if this sort of starts to fade away a little bit and sort of... Don't maybe have the time to record it. Yeah, I want to play some maybe when I've, you know, I've got the kids about and it's a bit noisy and I still want to play Snow Runner. I just want to jump on my other save. Right, so metal beams. Start tracking. Drop off cargo. And it is just, the, just one lot of beams and this is good to go. Not always been too much of a worry with this one because 
It's pretty easy to get past, but that was a uh, 1600 on that one. So, other tasks that we had here. So, I think I was going to go for... Um, not bags on ice. Because that's... Well, we could do that as well, because it's pretty, pretty easy, and we're here. Is that going to slow down our progress of what we're doing elsewhere, though? That's what I have to ask myself. Um, let's go to bags on ice, shall we? Let's do some jobs. Let's earn some money. Because it is nice to. Um, need to try and turn around. Somehow. Without getting stuck. Or rolling. That's the other... The other risk. We can't, we can't have both... <laughs> both of our main vehicles rolled. We will definitely be in the Caterpillar for the rest of the day then. Alright. Skin on up. And as always... Thank you very much for coming back to join us. Uh, I do appreciate the support on the series. I hope you are enjoying it. I am pre-recording these, so you know I, I, I will get back to your comments. Um, any suggestions you may have or thoughts you have, definitely share them. Just because it's pre-recorded doesn't mean it doesn't come into effect or help. Any advice always helps, and suggestions always you know get an opportunity to uh, take effect later on down the road in the series because they are long series. Well, this is one long series, but the the maps take me a while to get through, so preempting stuff on your side is is absolutely fine. Also, you know, uh, we haven't brought another vehicle through yet, um, so you know, if you've got any ideas on what vehicle you'd like to see come through, if we need to bring one, should we try the Fleet Star? It's a lot of money to, to just mess about with, but Fleet Star, White Western Star. I was going to use just the Dairy Longhorn for uh, the logging, but we've got upgrades now for our for our, our P16. So whether I bring that through and try a little bit of logging with it, we might do some uh, logging deliveries with the. Caterpillar, like I said, I'm not sure whether it's long and medium here, or if it's small. I'm pretty certain the Caterpillar only does small logs. Pretty certain of that. Now, this trailer does seem a little bit excessive for a lot of what we do here, because it's quite often two, three parts, one part. But there will come a time when we need lots of cargoes. And this will be coming in handy. So, is there? It's just these two, and there isn't another one. Yeah, two circles, and they just sort of overlap each other to trick you. Yeah. Certain of that. Right. Let's pick him up. We shouldn't need our anchors for this. It's not that heavy, I don't think. Maybe there is another one. There isn't, is there? think there is. That that little arrow might disappear once I... right there. Four. So why have we got two? Where are the others then? Oh, there. Where's the other one? Ooh, that's, that's, that's got me, hasn't it? I thought there were two. So where's the others?
One, two. Three. Why am I being so blind? See one along that path anyway. It's there. Huh. Not somewhere else, is it? Why did I think there was only two of these? I mean, I'll just have to follow where the arrow points, won't I? But show me, innit? Hey, eh? showing me. Oh, well, well packed, that man. <laughs> Reverse out and round. It's not fur. Is it further along here? And I'm just being really blind. It's not. It's in the middle here somewhere then. So it's this one. There. Where is this other? The box. I feel really stupid that I can't see it. I'm probably looking right at it. Where could you be? Oh, let's get the one that we know. Let's get the one where we know it is. really weird. Okay. Historically, I must have just done that in two parts. I mean, you think there was only two? I must have just, like, gathered them two up and gathered the other two up and just forgotten about them <laughs> entirely. <laughs> An easy task turned into a challenging task. Spawned in underneath my trailer I've parked up. <laughs> Once we've got the third one, obviously the circle will narrow down and I'll be able to scan it, but yeah. It looks like it's up ahead of us, so it must be along this road. Maybe it's right near the delivery point. Um, I might use my anchor here because we're a little bit on a hook. Huh. 
Gee, that on the back, boys. That'll do. Don't you worry. Going on there. Come on. Nope. Okay. Does not want to come in for me. saying this like just up ahead but I cannot see a pallet on my map anywhere how blind am I I just don't know where else it might be well let's go to look out for it, won't I? It's not going to really show me where it is. Buried off deep in the trees, somehow. Mysteriously out there lost. Is. That'll be why I can't see it. It's in the trees. That is a sneaky sneak there, isn't it? Barely visible. I see it now. It's there. I did not notice it before. That's going to be a bit of a chore to get as well, isn't it? With this set up. Go fishing with it. There we go. The pallet angler, it's me. <laughs> Nice little jobby. Yep, I don't mind this a little bit. We have to look for something. That's stuff wrong enough. Sometimes it can feel a little bit too easy when you know stuff, so like, that's why that's why it's good that I forget stuff. <laughs> oh dear. I can replay games multiple times and they always feel new. <laughs> there. I could probably replay Skyrim for the tenth time. And, and still get excited. Like it's brand new.
go. So we'll just free grand for that one as well. 480 XP, so we're up to 120 grand. Good. And we are level 23. Is that a new level? Have we leveled up? I think we're 22. No. I don't know, do I? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Just playing the game now. Right. <laughs> so, Stonefall. No, we looked at that already. We want um, containers in the river to the port. Because that was what I was going to do to start with. That's them two containers there because it's close by. So, we shall. We'll do that. Why not? I'm having fun here. Having fun. Let's do some little map tasks. None of these should be really too risky or, you know, too challenging, as long as I can see. So it's, it's money earned. It's, it's getting the little jobs out of the way. A little break from the scouting for you guys as well, I guess. Plus, it's nice. So it'll be four. This will be the fourth task. Ticked off. It isn't often we get to make progress like that. It really isn't. Especially later on when it comes down to the big deliveries. So do I want to go... Excuse me, I want to go right here. Getting out of here with this is probably where the issue's going to come in. Or even getting in there with it. So we'll see how this goes for us. Normally I'd come in with a single flatbed on the back and then uh, turn one at a time. But we're going to try and do both of these together. If I just look at my map and try and think, I reckon I d I'm not going to want to pull them both through there to get them to the because it's just horrible mud. So we might even come out and go the long way round if I can't get through because that's going to be tight. I might be able to get through. I might be able to get through. Who knows? And we are going to careful. We are going to be super careful. I think I'm a little bit too close to the bridge. There we are. Yeah, because there's a bit of a, t a tight weave through there. But, again, if I have a little look, there is a bit of a gap. If you come out at an angle, we might be able to... Or even through there and pull ourselves. Oh, then it starts getting risky, don't it? But you can see the gap in the trees. that'll pack like that. It will. Oh, it's right in the middle, isn't it? Oh, we should be right. We'll fit a double up. Got two at the front. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Will you get up here for me? This is the question.
And again, not really now doing this the easiest way. Kind of doing this the uh, let's try and have some fun with the way. a bit of traction and you're all good. The winch points unfortunately. How about if we try. There we are. Perfect. Right. This is why I think I should put the maybe the longer, stronger winch on the Royal. This is why I get I've, twice I've thought about it. Because I know I'm going to take some tough routes with it. And it's often going to leave me just out of reach of things. So maybe next time the Royal's near the garage, I will just spend the extra cash just for the that sort of security of being able to pull myself out of dubious situations. Especially with the lack of diff lock. Because often diff lock is your saviour. Just, you know, you drop down a gear, get your diff lock on, and you sort of power through. You don't quite get the slip. Whereas without it, sometimes it's a bit risky. That might make a nice little screenshot if we can get a little little angle on it. Or is it more impressive with a couple of big tanks on the back? A couple of big cargo containers? See what we can do with it. our way through and I was saying earlier on about how you could come through and just like, scoop up all your your upgrades and stuff like that the the downside to that is you wouldn't be a high enough level I don't think to get the chain tires like there's always often to refer to it, swings and roundabouts aren't there there's there's pros and cons to everything you can try and do it and then struggle a lot to get the upgrades to make doing something else somewhere else easier but, or something else somewhere else easier or you know, persevere with the struggle elsewhere so then when you arrived here or in time here that you've got you've got the tyres and you've got the engines and the, and the money ultimately as well, the money that you need there is, and again, I often say it. It's one of and one of many things I absolutely love about this game is the variety of approach that you can have to tackling all of the challenges. No two people, I don't think, will ever have the same playthrough. And I've said that before. Well. Even if you try to copy someone, say, so even if I try to copy my man Wessel and his amazing logistical genius. As soon as, excuse me, as soon as I roll where he doesn't, then our, then our, 
our sessions are completely different. Because then I've got to move a vehicle to come and cover me, which is using fuel, which is using time. And you, you're no longer on the same same track, no longer on that same path as they were, because you're going to reach another point where you're then not going to have the fuel that they had to go the distance that they went to complete the job that they did. But at some point you're going to have to refuel a bit different, and you're going to have yeah, you know, do you know what I mean? Or you could do, all you'd have to do is go off and get stuck a little bit in the mud where they, they someone else maybe went two or three foot further over to the right or the left and avoided the mud. And you didn't quite go over the same same distance, and then you get stuck in the mud, and suddenly you're there burning fuel for a couple of minutes while they're off up the road finishing their delivery. The variables to this game are immense, absolutely immense. The uniqueness of everyone's individual playthroughs, like even your own, you could play this game so many different ways yourself and never do the same things in the same order at the same time twice. So that was uh, two and a half grand for that. And we're going to grab some fuel. We got a long way around it. something that makes a big difference to my game compared to many other people's I see is I I love jamming the off-road gearbox in everything a lot of people and I've covered this before a lot of people seem to use um, high range gearboxes and don't get stuck whenever I try and use in the past whenever I've tried to use high range I never seem to do as well So it's not something I tend to do. Get myself out of here. And I am... Park that there and turn it off. And we are now, I think, I don't think there's anything else I want to do right now. I mean, we could do Lost Tubes, which is out here. It's picking up that tube and bringing it in here. I think I'll save that. Lost Oil Tank at Trailer Park, Rocks Full, Oil Tank Delivery, Simple. We are going to jump to Mountain River, get in our Caterpillar. And go and rescue our load star. And when we get there, we may even start to shift the uh, the Derry Longhorn as well. So this is the caterpillar that we rescued from up the way. I don't think we have any blockages back up there. I think it's all clear. Yeah, it's based. It's a good recovery vehicle. Like I say, you can stick uh, a log trailer on the back. You can stick fuel on the back. So you know, we we might do that. We might just fill this up with fuel and use it for every time that I roll my Royal or the ANK or whatever it is we decide to use. Not sure how this goes in high range for its height. Nah, nah. Look at the wheel spin now. It's got diff locks, so we use that. It's not got chains or anything, so it's a little bit, a bit squiffy 
on the roads but when we get the uh, dairy longhorn we'll, we'll make we'll pull a lot a lot of it um down along the uh, riverbed i think see if i can start to go now in a lot of slip over there a lot of slip Just don't want to waste the fuel. But when we grab the dairy, we will have an absolute monster of a truck. The only downside to the dairy, or the Longhorn, is that it's not, although it's got a lot of power, and it travels at an alright speed, it's not very good uphill. It does sort of grind uphill. A little bit like this. But this is just because we can't... Or we haven't got chains or anything on it. There we go. Look at all this. All the slip on that. Back off into uh, White Valley. Off we go. We'll skip that since it is dark. Let's get our light on. Must be getting late. It's that dark. So we haven't even been this way, we haven't scouted this way. But we do know where some things are. Just down here. the recovery of the Dairy Longhorn. So we'll accept, we'll start tracking, as you can see it's down there. Let's sort ourselves out, shall we? Now, I think the first few times I did this, I did what many people do, and fought just to pull it up the hill. And there's absolutely no need to do that. Absolutely no need at all. And you can just pull it along, normally. Naturally, because I'm confident about something, it's going to get stuck. But. There we go. There we go, that was coming. you might think, well this isn't the quickest thing in the world. Do you know how long it takes sometimes to pull it up that hill? Especially with the cat that slides, because it's got no, no chains or anything. You know, 
I was going to attempt this with the long with the um, Lone Star. Because all you got to do is attach your wings and let it drive behind you. That's that's it. That's that's as difficult as it really gets. Check how far around I want to go. So we can just pull up here, or you can just keep driving in the river all the way to this bridge. Now I've not fixed that bridge. So when we get there, we'll have to sort of drop down and do some stuff. But we've got our recovery, which is just there anyway. So I think we'll follow the road around. Follow the road. Follow the river around. doing that. Then when we get to the load stuff we need it, we should be able to grab a little bit of fuel. Whereabouts? Wanted to check that that'll get through there all right. I think it will. Let's say it's been a while. Oh, articulated whenever it goes in reverse. While in reverse. Come on, Derry, you can get up there. You can clear that. I've got you over here before. Come on. There you go. Up you come. Gonna get stuck on all the trees now just because I'm recording. <laughs> it's a rule. It's a rule for me anyway. But you can roll them back.
Why are you being such a bugger? And I can't really see where your problem is at the minute. If you can get through that gap. Now I've got myself all out of shape. Honestly, last time I did this, we just shot straight over. You can see how wide that gap is to get through. And it's it's like it's choosing to stick to that bloody tree. And, oh, I did it again. So I get myself all in a fluster, and then I, I forget me <laughs> mirror left to right reversals of the articulated. not understand what you're sticking to. I do not understand it. This is make this makes no sense to me. This is making absolutely no sense. Alright, buddy. Come. The absolute pain, pain in the rectum. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, but now we're at a funny angle. We don't want to be at. Right, now where in relation is my load star? It's there. Um, we'll, we'll try and take you across the bridge, mate. If you'll play ball with me. about your fuel, you're good. Just keep coming with me. I'm not sure if when you get get it as your truck, whether it like auto refuels or anything, but we can stick some fuel in it to get it the rest of the way home. Find our load star out in the dark.
quite close enough. Now we're at a funny angle uh, again. There we go. Right. Why is that not turning over? Why? Why? Why are you not rolling with me? Hey? Why have you got a you can't be so extra. You're going to roll the other way, aren't you? You're going to roll the other way. Out of absolute spite. For no other reason than to spite me <laughs> while recording. Like we... Come on. That's it. Absolute pain in the backside. It's <laughs> facing the wrong way. I'm going to want to come put some fuel in here. Honestly, <laughs> sometimes I, I just hate the uh, <laughs> the auto winch. Like, the game knows I want to tell that truck. So it's going to instead fling the winch out to uh, a, a bloody tree that's never going to hold the weight of what I'm doing. Because that makes perfect sense. Let's go put some fuel in them. Make sure I've got plenty of fuel in me first. Too much in you, but yeah, you, you've got a journey to make, so let's let's be generous. There we go. All right, let's make sure you're out of the way, because if not, it'll try and winch to you. And we'll just continue our journey in. Um, Delivering this now. Hopefully, it's not going to be a pain in the backside like it has been. You just come with me. Engine on. Come on. There we go. Engine's on. say the cat's a good recovery vehicle but if you've ever watched me farm sim you'll know that I always struggle whenever I get an articulated vehicle especially when it comes to reversing I think the cat probably comes in handy more so in maybe a um, uh, like a, an Alaska, not an Alaska, uh, a Michigan type region where this is muddy, but you've got to sort of pull, plow through and pull some uh, some logs along. I think that's more where 
definitely come in handy. And with the caterpillars, um, I'm using them as like international, so we're going to, because I'm just doing American stuff on American maps and trying to stick to the, uh, would be Eurasian vehicles and stuff in, uh, in the Eurasian maps. But things like the caterpillar and even my Land Rover if I want, uh, we're going to use those sort of vehicles on boat because they are vehicles and machines that you would find on both. Like, you're not going to see a Dairy Longhorn bossing up the road in Europe. Or Russia, no doubt. Although I have got an, an old truck mod that I'm already thinking about using for... Um, the, the glades, whatever that comes. Just because I think that'll suit it, and because it's an old style American one, it might be there. So I think um, the, the glades is supposed to be like south. I want to say like south east Asia. Um, so we could have a, an old American truck left over from oh, and stuff like that imported over and left behind now we've got to be careful of time now because it's getting daylight then we've got to fart gear. I'd just like to get this done We have rescued our load star, so at least that main part of today was done. Oh, we got. We got like two minutes. Did we pull the f we haven't pulled the fuel trailer from there yet? Yeah, that's alright, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. That's because we haven't been down here yet, that's why. That's why, mate. steal a minute or two off tomorrow's or tomorrow, yeah, off tomorrow off the next episode. I don't know how often I want to put these out. I'd love to put them out you know more than two, three times a week but it's not always possible. To help kickstart and push Alaska on, we might have a, a week where we're like really heavy with this or two we'll see. We'll see how far I can build a schedule There we go. Great. I thought it'd be easy to get some help here and to pass it up the chain and wait for another truck to arrive. Not to mention the paperwork. Thank you for your help. And we get to keep the dairy as our reward and we get two grand. So it was worth the struggle. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to really use the, uh, the cat. So to make sure it's out of the way in case there's anything else I need to deliver here. To get him and just have a quick run through. So, engine wise, we can now put a bigger engine in it, which would have probably been quite handy for that. Um, gearbox, it's got the advanced special anyway, although there is a special gearbox for it. Suspension, its stock doesn't change. Um, you know, 
other than the jack ones that may be a, a little bit better possibly i'm not sure average good excellent poor excellent excellent so on road that's even worse so here that probably wouldn't be really good but somewhere else somewhere muddy for the depth of that tread that would be pretty handy winch wise if we're going to use this as a recovery vehicle in future this will probably get a twin motor heavy yeah, engage with diff and then we'll just run through the frames we've got the, the carrier so we can put cargo containers on the back the fuel carrier which takes uh, 1600 liters we could use that to just go empty out a fuel trailer and then deliver a fuel trailer for a jobby and then the log carrier oh we have a cargo bed because we've got the ggms so we can put two cargoes in the back here that's handy that's that's changed this let's change this completely for future use i have forgotten about that awesome anyway that'll stay there we shall just jump to the dairy what is the time oh it's nearly eight right that'll be it for this one then we have our oh it's the engine on it's not good is it stay out there wasting fuel needs all repairs and everything I uh, probably need to get the low star up there on its scout and missions and we'll repair and refuel that. So uh, that'll be it for this one. A bit of a strange one. It was scored really well. We got our four deliveries. A little moment with the dairy getting stuck on that tree. That was frustrating. You could probably tell. Um, but I knew I could do it because I've done it so many times. It's that old adage with this hard mode series. Things that I have done many times before suddenly become impossible <laughs> or near impossible to do. Um... But then again, it comes down to what I was saying earlier on. You can do multiple runs and they will never be the same because you will be a foot or two left, a foot or two right. You'll have a little bit more fuel. You'll not have enough traction. There will be something different and it will just change it completely. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I'll continue to try and get these out to you as soon as I can. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.